Hello students, myself Dr. Ashwat Narayan. In this session, we are going to discuss about the transgenic approaches in plant resistant to fungal infection. A vast variety of fungus will be there. They are associated with the plant as, an, as a natural microbiota, but some fungi will also cause disease in plants and, uh, and, and causes uh, the yield less yield in uh, different different agriculture crops here so different you know the uh, transgenic approaches will be there that will neutralize the fungal infection but here you can observe that fungi is also eukaryotic and plant is also eukaryotic because of that we need to take some different type of strategy as compared to bacteria and virus virus and bacteria uh, viruses uh, outside the environ outside the living condition they are dead right and bacteria is prokaryotic but fungi is eukaryotic so we need to you know make sure that in fungi should be neutralized because same ribosome is there it is ribosome same uh, you know con components will be there so because of that whatever the chemical that is used that may become toxic to plants also remember so because of that we need to have a different strategy one by one we, we need to discuss these strategies that is used in, uh, in transgenic plant which resistant to the fungal disease. These are the strategies that can be employed in transgenic plant that can easily defend the fungal infection. So we will go one by one here. So first one is called introduction of the antifungal genes. So uh, these are the genes uh, mainly present in different different uh, plants, bacteria etc. that can easily defend the fungal infection in that especially the pr proteins are very important what is pr means pathogen re pathogenesis re related proteins this uh, pathogenesis related proteins mainly has different different enzymes in that that is called chitinase gluconase you know thematic like proteins and other enzymes are there that mainly degrade the cell wall of the fungi right so these are called pr proteins these antifungal genes mainly effective in uh, degrading fungal uh, cell wall and then plant defenses are there that defenses mainly produce from the plants because of the infection of the uh, fungus they are cysteine rich antimicrobial peptides mainly defend the pathogenicity of the fungal hyphae and uh, one more uh, enzyme that is uh, they are called as chitinase, the fungal cell wall is made up of chitin. Whenever chitinase is there, these enzymes degrade the chitin molecule that mainly present in the cell, mem cell wall of the fungi. Whenever chitinase is produced, definitely fungal uh, cell wall is ruptured. And uh, gluconases, these are the enzymes that is also present in uh, uh, you know, a major component of, uh, uh, you know, uh, some component that is present along with the chitin will be degraded because of the action of gluconases. This gluconase enzyme hydrolyzes beta 14 glucon bonding that binds with chitin and then further uh, that will weaken the cell wall and then rupturation happens because of the gluconases. And PR5 proteins and uh, lipid transfer proteins and the phytoelexins these are the chemicals mainly has antimicrobial uh, properties we need to introduce these antifungal genes into the plants that can easily, easily defend the uh, uh, fungal pathogenicity and next strategy is expression of pathogen driven resistant genes so you already know that uh, same genes chitinase gene gluconase gene should be introduced into the plants that mainly disturb the cell wall of the fungus like chitinase gluconases are there so definitely that should be introduced along with that uh, some other chemicals like lactic peptides virulence genes or any interference mechanisms there definitely that will neutralize the fungal infection and then whatever the genome is there that will not be integrates and then the plant cell will not be zombified because of the interference and uh, if you observe uh, the RNA interference technology the fungal, uh, whenever they, in, they, they infect the plant cells, uh, they, they will be expressed the mRNA for the propagation. So the N mRNA will reach up the, uh, the uh, whatever, uh, ribosomes and then that will exp expression will take place. Why? Why? Because here 
the fungi is also eukaryotic and uh, the plant cell is also eukaryotic whatever the machinery that is used here that is also utilized here uh, by zombifying the plant cells so that will be there that efficacy of uh, these fungi will be neutralized whenever a rna that is expressed that is from the fungal origin will be neutralized because of the risk complex produced from the RNA interference mechanism or nuclease that will degrade the uh, expression of the fungal specific uh, genes. And one more mechanism or strategy is manipulation of plant defense signal pathway. So, if some defense pathways are, you know, if fungal infects plant cell, that means in some receptors will be there that will recognize it and then that will help in the um, you know entering of the that make a way a way through for a fungal to enter into the plant cell right so if you change the pathway if you change the pro receptor protein that will not recognize the fungal cell definitely what happens uh, those receptors will ripple back the fungal cell and then there is no infection further like that you know some uh, stimuli that mainly trigger out the uh, chemotaxic movement of the fungal should be neutralized and even we can change the hormone hormone signaling pathway like you know jasmonic acid pathway a salicylic pathway or ethylene pathway will be modified in such a way that that will trigger out the defense mechanism against the fungal uh, um, microbes and even we can use a beneficial microbes like you know vesicular arbuscular microbes a VAM and then other type of fungi and uh, other mycorrhiza fungi are there that will be utilized to defend against the pathogenic fungi that cause disease next strategy is engineering disease responsive promoters so you already know that we discussed these uh, pr proteins further these are the subunits of pr proteins uh, these promoters mainly trigger out the defense mechanism against the fungal fungus because of that we you introduce this promoter along with the a, a chemical gene that causes a toxicity for fungus definitely uh, you know it will works effectively in uh, combating uh, the uh, fungal pathogenicity in host plant and uh, one more mechanism is called stacking multiple resistant genes you know uh, in a tra uh, you know in a target you know single gene single uh, protein or a single chemical cannot effectively defend the fungus right because of that this fungal whatever the pathway whatever the uh, you know ways are there the fungus will be targeted so that multiple ways multiple strategies are used staking multiple resistant gene into the host plant so that these multiple genes in multiple ways resist the fungal pathogenicity say so like that you can see our genes the complex our gene family will be introduced like r1 rpm1 rga2 these uh, sticking genes mainly uh, defend uh, the uh, pathogenicity of different different pathogens like fight of the infestant that causes late blight of potato pseudomonas syringe that causes uh, different disease like a rot disease in uh, Arabidopsis thaliana, even uh, uh, Magnoporte oryza that causes blast disease in rice plant. So everything will be targeted. That every every gene will be stacked out in a single promoter and then introduced into the uh, the host plant. Definitely, that will defend the fungal pathogens in multiple ways. Like the uh, MLO genes, PTO genes, LR genes, PM genes, RHG1 genes. These genes are specific to different different types of pathogen that can easily resist that so because of that if you stack all these genes into the uh, you know same uh, single host plant definitely the plant will defend all the pathogens in multiple ways and uh, successfully become a transcending fungal uh, you know plant that defend all the diseases here and one more approach is called targeting fungal toxins here so like in different different types of chemicals are there that produce from the opposite fungi that will that will be toxic to different other type of other species of fungal species fungal species here so take an example uh, greasy uh, uh, fulvin greasy uh, fulvin these are the chemical that produce from the penicillin this penicillin 
chemical grease fluvin that mainly defend other fungal uh, path pathogens and stop the cell division of other fungal. But this is not toxic to this penicillin species. Like that cyclopyrox. This cyclopyrox is also a toxin that is produced from, especially from a, uh, you know, aspergillus. This uh, uh, chemical will defend other uh, type of fungal pathogens. And one more chemical was nistatin. This nistatin is mainly produced from a bacterium called Streptomyces nourishiae. Uh, so this uh, this uh, bacteria, bacterial chemical, mainly defend other type of uh, fungal, especially Candida albicans, will be prevented. So like that, if you introduce these genes into plants, definitely, specifically, some type of uh, fungal will not be uh, will not cause any damage effect because of the toxicity. And um, one more chemical cause aflatoxin, T2 toxin, femonicin, uh, uh, and trichothecenes. These are the chemicals mainly produced from the fusarium, trichoderma, and uh, other aspergillus species that cause carcinogenic effect and hep hepatotoxic effect in other type of fungus. Generally, if you observe the aflatoxins, mainly aspergillus niger, that mainly produce that will uh, produce a fruiting body in uh, fruiting body in food that becomes toxicity because of the uh, toxic nature of aflatoxin that is carcinogenic that cause cancer as well as that is hepatotoxic that means uh, that causes liver damage along with that it will also toxic to other type of fungal species so like that we can introduce these fungal toxin into the plant cell and then uh, that uh, that can these can toxins will neutralize the toxicity of uh, other fungal pathogens here. And one more mechanism uh, is called as engineering the plant immunity, enhancing the plant immunity. That means you know different types of you know uh, immunity will be there, systemic acquired resistant or induced systemic resistance will be there. That will be enhanced the uh, you know the immune immune response in the plant. Even we can use biocontrol agents like opposite uh, symbioticly associated bacteria or fungi will be inoculated that will defend the pathogenicity of the actual pathogen. And we can also enhance the physical barriers like cell wall composition will be changes. Whenever cell, cell wall composition changes, definitely, uh, you know, in, uh, you know um, uh, cell wall will defend uh, the entry of the fungal pathogen hyphae into the host plant. And uh, one more mechanism is, uh, you know, microbial consortia. This is where, 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 where various beneficial microorganisms are inoculated with the plant that becomes microbiota that can easily defend the fungal pathogen. Even one more effective method is CRISPR-Cas9 technology. A fungal specific genetic material will be targeted and that will be neutralized. That is essential for the metabolic act activity of fungi will be targeted by modifying the CRISPR technology they, you know we'll have a CRISPR technology that contains Cas9 nuclease and then small guide RNA is there if that will be targeted if you modify a small guide RNA that targets only a specific expression of the fungal cell will be targeted whenever this Cas9 will go and binds uh, with the uh, small guide RNA that will only target the uh, the expression of some specific genes in fungal mycelium and then that will neutralize the expression and shut down the expression and because of that the fungal mycelium will not uh, secrete and uh, you know expression of those genes will not take place and then because of the uh, stopping of crucial expression the fungal fungal mycelium died instantly in plant host plant especially this way we can target a, a specific genes uh, by talent technology or CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing 